This is Brendan McKay of Canada dropping in for his first of three. So I'm just getting texted now. It sounds like I misspoke. It's underver, not overver. But another thing to okay. look for, just any time the pipe isn't perfect, 90 degrees isn't sending you perfectly straight up in the air. Really difficult way to get these tricks around. But Brendan, there's the 1260. We've seen everybody kind of having trouble with those double corks, especially the big double cork 1260. And Brendan in the middle of his run there, second to last hit, is able to bring that 1260 in and put the landing down clean. So again, we come back to whatever the issue, what whatever the pipe is or isn't, or however it's riding, everybody's riding the same feature tonight. Right. So it truly is a so battle of who can deal with that. What do you mean when you say under verdict? Try to explain that. What does that mean to the common yeah. viewer that doesn't ride pipe? Yeah, so under or over vert, when you look at the super pipe, you want it to be cut where the top of the wall, the very last foot of the transition, is almost perfectly 90 degrees, so almost going perfectly up in the air. When it's under, it has a little less vert, so it doesn't go quite straight up. When it's over, it has almost too much and goes too vert too quick or goes over 90, so it makes it harder or easier to get amplitude. You either pop too much or too little. And these things might seem nuanced to somebody just watching for the first time. The pipe looks perfect to the naked eye, but really when you want to go 20 feet out of a 22 foot super pipe, it needs to be cut to such a, a finite, yeah, really perfect precise. amount. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to huck yourself that high and get a 92.60, you want it near perfect. And that was a great run for the Canadian. Brennan McKay goes into first place. The bar has been raised by one point. It was 92.60. It's now 93.60. Well, what better place to be in than Brennan right now coming off that 92.60? Yes, you just got overtaken by Alex, but you were... You had a great first run, and now you have the opportunity to go out and add even more to your run. And Brendan does just that with that big switch double cork to start things off. He is feeling it tonight. Double cork. Ooh, 1260, the first run tonight with two big double corks. Will we see three? We do. Competition raising the bar and pushing Brendan McKay into a possible winning run right there. Saw exactly what the American threw down, and the Canadian answers back. Wow, and he is definitely feeling it tonight. Comes off that first run, so had a full pull. Got that 92 under his belt. Sitting on the podium, comes out swinging in the second run with three double cork variations. The most technically difficult we run we've seen all night. Now we have to look. How's the execution? Gets the grab on the left side double cork. Let's take a look at this. The unnatural right side double cork looking for the safety grab. I mean, Wow, that whole run was definitely the on, hardest man. run we've seen all night. Oh. Wow. It's cold. <laughs> Again, if a Canadian says it's Ooh. cold, Tom Wallace, it's cold. I know you're from the Berg originally, but this is, can this is Canada cold. Yeah, this is a different kind of cold. It's that humid Ooh. cold that cuts through you to your soul. And if the ca Canadians are saying it, it, it's for real. So, yeah. I mean, judges taking a lot. They got to look at a lot there. The amplitude and yeah. the execution, are they in line with how technically difficult that was? Because that was the hardest run of the night by far. And there's your answer, 95-2-0. Oh, Poppy, Brendan McKay getting it done. Wow, big score there for Brendan. What? And he's still got one more run. Here's the situation. Brendan McKay is the current leader with a 95-2-0. He has this run, and then the number one qualifier, Lyman Courier of the USA, will have the yeah, final Brendan. say. So Brendan, sitting in first right now, but a chance on his third and final run to up the score even more. He knows he saw what Alex got, what D'Artois got. They added big double courts into the run. Alex added an additional trick. Brendan's got the most technical run of the night so far. That run number two had three double cork variations. I don't know what else he can add into it. Perhaps improve on the execution and just go bigger, but that run had all the makings of a winning run. And starting things off, big switch, hits, double cork at the top. 900, will we see the two 1260s back to back? Left side. 
right side, gets the grab and the Ooh. stomp on that one. Brendan McKay, wow, that was a big run on the third and final pull. It's like he's finding speed that no one else can. And you can hear the other athletes bowing down, praising him, because really it's been Brendan's night. He's been skiing yep. so good com comparatively. I mean, these are all amazing skiers, but his ability to sort of navigate this particular super pipe and still do such a world-class level run like this is just incredible. I mean, it's, it's in front of everything else we're seeing. Let's take yep. a look. There's the 1260, so gets the grab perfectly on that right side. 1260, that was the only thing that was my critique from run number two. That's got to be a huge Ooh. score. 97 for Brendan McKay as he ups the ante and stays in that lead position.